Hey, what's up guys? My name is Wasi and welcome to my brand new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create an amazing luxury logo animation using Adobe After Effects. This tutorial is very simple and easy to create. You can use this logo animation for your clients or for your own logo. And if you are new to this channel, hit the subscribe button because I upload Adobe After Effects tutorial every week. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoy this video. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Uh, let's call it to logo animation. And as always, I'm going with 1920 1080p, frame rate 30 and duration 10 seconds, then hit OK. OK, let's import our logo and project files. You can download these project files from link in the description box below. Now select our logo and place it into this timeline. Then right click, then choose pre-compose. Then select mobile attributes and simply rename it to logo, then hit OK. Okay, now create another composition and let's call it map, then hit OK. Now select this reflection map layer, then place it into this timeline and then add motion tile on it. Then click on this mirror edges, then output height set it 350 and output width set it 350 then press w on your keyboard then rotate the layer something like this now select this layer then press s and make it smaller okay now go to beginning of this animation then set a keyframe on title center then go to end of this animation then increase the x amount like this okay now create a new solid layer so right click new then click on solid then click on ok Okay, let's add a linear wipe. Okay, let's change the whip angle to minus 50. Then go to around 1 seconds. Then set a keyframe. Then go to around 5 seconds. Then transition completion value set it 0. And change the feather amount to 243 okay and then change the layer mode to stencil alpha again create a new solid layer add linear wipe this time change the whip angle to around 150 and then go to around 3 seconds then set a keyframe on transition completion value set it 0 then go to around 6 seconds 8 frames then transition completion value set it 100 and then change the feather amount to 243 and simply change the layer mode to stencil alpha Okay, now go back to logo animation comp, then go to project window and select our map comp, then place it into this timeline. Then simply change this layer track mat layer to logo. Okay, let's add CC blobby lies.
then go to blobiness then blob layer set it logo and property set it alpha softness set it uh, 7 and cut away set it 3 then go to light and light height set it 100 Okay, looks good to me now select these two layer then right click then choose pre-compose select mobile attributes and rename it to gloss then click on ok now go to project window and select our logo comp then place it into this timeline then add simple choker on it then chuck mat set it 15 now change this layer mode to silhouette alpha perfect now select these two layer then right click then choose pre-compose and select mobile attitudes and rename it to gloss outline then hit ok now simply select this layer then press ctrl plus d then simply go to effect and preset window and search for directional blur now apply onto this layer blur length set it 500 and then change the layer mode to add then simply uh, duplicate this layer press ctrl plus d ok now go to project window and select our particle layer then place it into this timeline ok now make it smaller then add tint on it and then change the layer mode to classic color dodge perfect now go to around 4 second uh, 15 frames then press T on your keyboard set a keyframe on opacity and then go to around 5 seconds and opacity value set it 0 Ok, let's uh, go to project window, then select our gloss comp, then place it into this composition. Ok, let's trim this layer and move it forward like this. Ok now create an adjustment layer so right click new then click on adjustment layer then add curves then adjust the curves like this now add sharpen and sharpen value set it 10 Ok, let's uh, trim this composition. Now right click, then click on trim comp to work area. Ok, our animation is complete. You can ramp preview this. Ok, if you want to change the color, then simply add VC color vibrance and then simply change the color, whatever you want.
Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day. And if you have any questions, then do let me know in the comment. For now, stay safe and I will catch you later. Bye-bye.